My name is Gary Wadger, and I'm the Assistant Dean of Students and the Director for Fraternity and Sorority Life. On behalf of the Department of Fraternity and Sorority Life and our Governing Councils, we are excited that you are interested in joining a fraternity or sorority at Clemson. Joining one of our organizations is a fantastic way to make new friends, develop leadership skills, network with alumni, serve the community, get involved on campus, and enhance your academic potential. At this time, I would like for you to meet the Fraternities Real Life staff and leaders from our four governing councils that will be a part of our presentation today. Hello, everybody. My name is Trish Robinson. I serve as one of the associate directors in the Fraternities Real Life office, and I advise our Multicultural Greek Council, or MGC, and our National Panhellenic Council, also known as NPHC. Hey everybody, my name is Joe Strickland. I also serve as one of our associate directors for Turing and Sorority Life here at Clemson, and I primarily advise our inner fraternity council or IFC. Hey everyone, my name is Allie Rule. I serve as an assistant director in the office, and I advise Panhellenic. Hi everyone, my name is Georgia Lodeholt, and I am president of College Panhellenic Association. Uh, hey everyone, my name is John Gresset. I'm the president of the inner fraternity council at Clemson University. Hey y'all, my name is Jordan Childs. I'm the president of the Multicultural Greek Council at Clemson. Hey everyone, my name is Justin Green and I'm the president of MPAC, the National Panhellenic Council. The Department of Fraternity and Sorority Life, also known as FSL for short, believes in the power of values-based fraternities and sororities to create positive change. We offer the fraternity and sorority community support that emphasizes the importance of social responsibility, academic excellence, and leadership through open communication, needs-based advising, and direct interaction with organization members and advisors. FSL staff support our students through two main goals, education and training, and coaching and mentoring. We provide community-wide educational programming and specialized officer training for our affiliated students, and we coach and mentor our fraternity and sorority chapter leaders and governing council officers on policies, procedures, and best practices. The first fraternities and sororities were founded as local organizations between 1956 and 1968. In 1970, the nine fraternities and the three sororities began affiliating with nationally historically white organizations. These organizations formed the College Panhellenic Association and the Inner Fraternity Council. The community will celebrate the 50th anniversary of the national foundings of our fraternities and sororities throughout the 20. 20 and 2021 academic year. The first historically African-American fraternity at Clemson, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, was founded in 1974, and Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was founded in 1977. Our eight national historically African-American fraternities and sororities chartered with the National Panhellenic Council in 1998. In 2015, our community grew again when historically Latin-based organizations Hermandad de Sigma Iota Alpha Incorporada and Lambda Theta Phi Latin Fraternity Incorporated and historically Asian-based Delta Phi Lambda Sorority Incorporated founded the Multicultural Greek Council. While our governing councils were founded with historically cultural context, all of our fraternities and sororities do not discriminate based on race and are open for all Clemson students to seek membership. Approximately 25% of the undergrad population at Clemson are members of our fraternity and sororities. In fall 2019, 4,997 students were members of our community, which was the highest in Clemson's history. Since 2010, our membership has increased by roughly 42%. During the 2019 to 2020 academic year, roughly 51% of our members were from out of state. 31% of the undergraduate women were in sororities and 17% of men were in fraternities. So why join? In 2019, our members participated in the National Fraternity and Sorority Experience Survey. Results from this survey showed that the top five reasons members join a fraternity or a sorority at Clemson are friendship, social opportunities, philanthropy and community service, leadership development, and career networking. Members also stated that they experienced the following positive effects by joining a fraternity or a sorority, develop positive relationships, become involved in, in items of interest, serve the community, sense of campus community, and, and value to overall collegiate experience. Students interested in being in a fraternity or sorority have several opportunities to join through the recruitment and intake processes of the College Panhellenic Association, the Interfraternity Council, the Multicultural Greek Council, and the National Panhellenic Council. 
We will now highlight each governing council starting with the College Panhellenic Association. The College Panhellenic Association at Clemson is the governing body of 12 established Panhellenic chapters. CPA's core values are sisterhood, scholarship, leadership, and philanthropy. These core values are, base, are the base for all programming that we provide throughout the year. Some of our signature programs include new member welcome lunch, senior brunches, study nights at local coffee shops, leadership luncheons with local Clemson leaders, and our philanthropy events for Circle Sisterhood. If you're interested in joining our Panhellenic community, you can register for recruitment now through August 7th. Panhellenic primary recruitment will take place over the two weekends of August 21st through 23rd and August 29th through 30th. To find out more information about recruitment, you can check out our website, ClemsonPanhellenic.com or follow us on Instagram at Clemson Panhellenic. You can also check out our virtual orientation session on July 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern. The Interfraternity Council at Clemson University, also known as IFC, serves as the governing body of 23 IFC fraternities. The mission of the Interfraternity Council at Clemson University is to govern, serve, represent, and promote with the highest standard of integrity its member fraternities. We exist as a resource to facilitate the growth and development of fraternity men in the areas of personal and fraternal responsibility, leadership, scholastic achievement, civic engagement, and brotherhood. All programming from IFC focuses on at least one tenet from this mission with a particular emphasis placed on new member development and social and personal well-being. Within each council, each chapter supports various philanthropic initiatives in addition to structured programming provided by other national organizations. If you are interested in joining the IFC community at Clemson University, registration for the fall recruitment process is currently open and will remain open through the start of the fall semester. IFC recruitment, also known as RUSH, will take place September 5th through the 11th, 2020. For more information and eligibility requirements, please visit our website, www.clemson-ifc.com, or follow us on Instagram at Clemson IFC. You can also check us out at Facebook. You can join us for our virtual orientation session on July 21st at 7 p.m. Multicultural Greek Council, or MGC, serves as the governing council to fraternities and sororities with historically cultural and or ethnic context. The MGC is the newest council within the fraternity and sorority community and was founded in 2015. MGC is composed of both men and women's organizations, and currently there are four organizations that are a part of MGC. Delta Phi Lambda Sorority Incorporated, Hermandad Di Sigma Iota Alpha Incorporada, Lambda Theta Phi Latin Fraternity Incorporated, and Pi Alpha Phi Fraternity Incorporated. We are excited to be in the process of adding another organization in the fall of 2020. Nationally, MGC organizations were founded to create spaces of community and brotherhood slash sisterhood for students of various marginalized identities who were excluded from IFC and CPC, CPA organizations. Each MGC organization focuses on education, support, and advocacy for issues impacting the specific community of their organization that they serve. Our MGC fraternities and sororities at Clemson are committed to fostering a unified multicultural community to promote scholarship, service, respect, unity, and cultural awareness. While our current MGC organizations represent Asian interests and Latinx interests, you do not have to be Asian or Latino to join these organizations. Each organization in MGC is able to dictate when they bring new members into the organizations and if they do it each semester or once a year. The best way to start meeting MGC organizations is to attend the beginning of each semester uh, events such as Tiger Prowl or Grill and Greet. Fraternities and sororities in MGC have new members join their organizations, organizations via processes known as intake. If you are interested in learning more about MGC and or how to join, you can check out our website, www.clemsonmgc.org, or follow us on Instagram at ClemsonMGC. To keep up with upcoming events, you can also check out our virtual orientation session on July 28th at 7 p.m. The National Panhellenic Council, also known as MPHC, serves as the governing council to the Black Greek letter organizations. Nationally, there are nine organizations commonly referred to as the Divine Nine. 
Clemson is home to eight of the nine organizations. MPHC is composed of both fraternities and sororities. MPHC organizations were created to give African-American men and women the fraternal experience in a time of exclusion from IFC and CPA organizations. MPHC organizations formed to create community and belonging for marginalized students and still serves that purpose today. While MPHC fraternities and sororities were founded as historically black organizations and continue to focus on education, support, and advocacy for issues impacting the black community in the United States and beyond, you do not have to be black to join an MPHC organization. MPHC fraternities and sororities are heavily service oriented with per member average of 19.75 hours of service in the fall of 2019. Each organization and the council hosts educational programs open to the community to educate students on topics relative to the community, as well as social events and programs to create a greater sense of community. Some of MPHC's signature events include the Fall Fest Stroll Off During Homecoming and the MPHC Student Staff and Faculty Mixer. MPHC fraternities and sororities have new members join their organizations via a process known as intake. Each organization is able to dictate when they host intake and if they do it each semester or once a year. The first step to ensure that you are able to join an MPHC organization is by attending MPHC orientation, hosted at the beginning of each semester and only required once in order to pursue membership in any MPHC organization. Fall semester's MPHC orientation will be August 30th, 2020. If you're interested in learning more about MPHC, you can check out our website, mphcclemson.com and follow us on Instagram, cu underscore mphc to keep up with upcoming events. You can also check out our virtual orientation session on July 30th at seven o'clock. Joining a fraternity or sorority is an excellent way to make friends, build a network within the larger Clemson community and become, more, become a more well-rounded student. We want to highlight several key aspects of being a member so you're aware of the expectations and opportunities for leadership. The first area we're going to highlight is academics. Um, grades are an important part of, of both maintain, of seeking and maintaining membership in a fraternity or sorority at Clemson University. Um, in the fall 2019, um, our FSL GPA saw our chapters at 3.36 um, as, as a community average, uh, with 77% of, of our members having above a 3.0. Um, the six-year graduation rate is just over 90%, um, with a retention rate of about 96.69%, um, which are both higher than the overall Clemson graduation and retention rate. Members have opportunities to serve in elected officer positions and appointed committees within their chapters. The skills you learn in these roles, like running meetings, team buildings, and event, event planning and budgeting, greatly prepare you for life after college. FSL also provides a variety of leadership development programs for emerging leaders and chapter officers throughout the academic year. A couple of programs we want to highlight are Clemson Greek Emerging Leaders and Order of Omega. Clemson, emerging leader, Clemson Greek Emerging Leaders is a program designed for members of the fraternity and sorority community within their first year of membership in their organization. Although these students are primarily freshmen or sophomores, upperclassmen are welcome if they are new to the to fraternity and sorority life. Pretend, per, participants attend six sessions throughout the semester that focus on understanding the Clemson Greek community, their individual leadership styles, building relationships with their peers, and leading positive change within their community. Order of Omega recognizes juniors and seniors who have exemplified high standards in areas of scholarship, leadership and involvement within their community, their respective fraternities and sororities and their councils. Membership is reserved for the top 3% of leaders in the fraternity and sorority community. Among this group are chapter presidents, council exec members, tour guides, honors college students, volunteers, orientation ambassadors, tutors, 4.0 recipients, student government leaders, and many, many more. Order of Omega hosts various programming throughout the year for the entire fraternity and sorority community. Signature programs hosted by Order of Omega include Greeks and Ghosts, in conjunction with the downtown Clemson Halloween celebration for local children and Greek Week in the spring. 
Every fraternity and sorority have national and local service and philanthropic projects they support every year. In the last academic year, members raised over $500,000 and served over 55,000 hours. FSL also co-sponsors the annual Fall and Day of Service and the Dominican Republic Winter Break Service Trip in which members can participate. The Center for Ser Student Leadership and Engagement and the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life send students on an annual alternative winter break service trip to work with Cambiano Vitas in the Dominican Republic. Cambiano Vitas is a U.S.-based organization building international partnerships through the construction of safe and affordable houses for deserving families in the Dominican Republic. This alternative break experience allows students to work alongside members of the community, including the family who will own the home, to create sustainable community development by building the home. Through our partnership with Cambiando Vitas, FSL students have completed eight homes in the San Juan de la Maguana area of the Dominican Republic. The Fallen Day of Service creates opportunities for Clemson students, faculty, and staff to serve a local community agency in a community-wide day of service. The Fallen Day of Service exists through a collaborative partnership with the Center of Student Leadership and Engagement, Residential Living, and Fraternity and Sorority Life. In 2019, over 230 members of the Clemson community served various agencies around the upstate of South Carolina in a multitude of different service opportunities. FSL has a program model called the Clemson Greek Experience Program. The purpose of this model is to craft the Clemson University fraternity and sorority membership experience that allows individual members to fulfill the mission of the Division of Student Affairs, which is to prepare and empower students to make a difference as global citizens. This program provides fraternities and sororities with a framework to provide their members with a purposeful co-curricular education that complements the academic mission of Clemson University. Members will participate in a wide variety of personal and professional development programs sponsored by their chapters, governing councils, or Clemson departments. Program topics focus on five themes, academic engagement, personal health and well-being, community impact, personal development and self-discovery, global citizenship, diversity, and inclusion. Members are encouraged to at least attend one program in each category per academic year. Our members are not only heavily involved in their chapters, but they are also actively engaged in many aspects of campus life. We encourage members to join at least one organization outside of their fraternity or sorority. You can find fraternity and sorority members involved in all kinds of organizations, such as undergraduate student government, orientation ambassadors, Clemson University Guide Association, the Student Alumni Council, the IPTA Student Advisory Board, Blue Key, Clemson Miracle, and many, many more. Membership in a fraternity or sorority requires a financial commitment that varies by the governing council and the individual chapter. The first semester is the most expensive due to one-time membership fees associated with initiation and subsequent semesters cost less per semester. The current averages for each governing council are shown on the screen. The rates were provided prior to COVID-19 and are subject to change. We encourage you to ask the organizations you are interested in joining about their fees for the upcoming year. In addition to membership fees paid to the organization that students join, each student pays the FSL fee on their tuition bill, which is $60 a semester. The purpose of this fee is to provide the fraternities and sororities with a sustainable advising and programming model to create a membership experience that is congruent with both the university and organization's mission purpose, and values. The fee allows the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life to be a self-funded department and the money generated goes toward providing increased staffing, training, and developmental programs for the community. Clemson does not have a traditional Greek village, but 24 groups currently have on-campus housing in the form of a residential area with designated floors and halls of buildings in one of two areas. The fraternity and sorority quad houses, 11 IFC fraternities and seven CPA sororities, and the Bryan Mall houses, five CPA sororities. Members typically live on the chapter hall during their second year of membership, and housing contracts are usually signed in October. In addition to on-campus housing, several IFC fraternities have off-campus houses that are owned or operated by their alumni house corporation. 
The health and safety of our students is a top priority. FSL has implemented a wellness advocates and step up training, which are two major health and safety initiatives to help create a culture of care within our community. Um, the first, the wellness advocates is a student led programming group focused on providing resources, implementing year long events throughout for our community. We strive to host monthly events, um, including academic performance, challenging and preparing sorting stereotypes, hazing, prevention, alcohol awareness, healthy relationships, nutrition, exercise, stress management, sexual assault awareness, and more. Um, chapters are encouraged to collaborate with wellness advocates when hosting their chapter-based programming required through their national organization. All FSL wellness, wellness advocates go through a 12-hour training to become a peer educator. The training is an eight-module course through NASPA and the Bacchus Network. Step Up Bystander Intervention is a national program um, geared towards engaging in, in individuals and encouraging them to be proactive in helping others. The program was implemented for the entire FSL community starting in the fall of 2018. Every member of the community attends at least one session of Step Up, and this typically occurs during their time as a new member. Um, the goals of this program are to raise awareness of helping behaviors, increase motivation to help, develop skills and confidence when responding to problems or concerns, ensure the safety and well-being of, of, of self and others, um, and this program is facilitated by a variety of members within the Division of Student Affairs at Houston University. While we have spent much of this presentation highlighting the positive aspects of fraternity and sorority membership, we must acknowledge that actions of members across the nation have put students' health and safety in jeopardy through hazing, alcohol, drugs, and sexual assault. Clemson University is not immune to these incidents and we have strongly held organizations accountable for violations. In the last five years, we have seen a decrease of 93.44% in overall code of conduct violations. We attribute this to increased education of our students, additional staff added to work with our organizations, and the students helping to create a cultural shift within our organizations. The next part of our presentation will highlight where to find organizational conduct violations and how to report incidents to the university. In compliance with the Tucker Hips Transparency Act, Clemson University publicizes all violations of the Student Code of Conduct by student organizations. A listing of these violations is accessible at clemson.edu slash administration slash hips. You can also visit the conduct report section of the FSL website at clemsongreeklife.com to see a list of organizations under disciplinary probation or suspended from the university. Hazing is prohibited by Clemson University Code of Conduct and the national policies of each fraternity and sorority. It is important for us to educate potential new members and families of the hazing policy so they know how to look out for problematic behavior and how to report hazing to the university. Hazing is any situation created or action taken for the purpose of initiation, admission into, affiliation with, or as a condition for continued membership in an organization which meets one or four of the, um, more of the criteria um, coming up. Hazing can be intentional or unintentional and can occur with, with or without consent. Hazing is also any act that meets the definition of hazing contained in the South Carolina Code of Laws, section 59-101-200. Situations or actions that constitute hazing are negligent or reckless in nature, potentially harmful to physical safety and health, psychological well-being and or opportunities for academic success, or not reflected of the university's mission, purpose, or values. Such activities and situations may include, but are not limited to, paddling, physical or psychological shocks, forced, whether explicit or implicit, consumption of food, water, alcohol, or drugs, kidnapping or abandonment, lineups and berating, morally degrading behavior, any form of personal servitude, forced, whether explicit or implicit, wearing publicly or privately of inappropriate costumes, interference with academic pursuits, or forced, whether explicit or implicit, participation in activities that are illegal or violate the university policy. Well, in the Office of Community and Ethical Standards take all reports of hazing seriously and investigate all allegations. To report a hazing incident in progress, please contact the University Police Department at 864 656-2222. You may also report an incident online using the incident report form, which is linked on the hazing policy section of the FSL website at clemsongreeklife.com. For the university to begin an investigation, we need the name of the organization and as many details of the incident as possible, like the date, 
time, location of the incident, and description of the activities that potentially violate the university's hazing policy. Now we would like for the students to give you insight on what it's like to be a new member of a fraternity or sorority at Clemson University. So the first question is, can you describe what the typical week looks like as a new member in your council? What are the weekly expectations and average length of the new member education process? And Jordan, we're going to start with you. Um, honestly, a typical week is different between each chapter. Um, for me and my personal experience, uh, a typical week was education, education, education. It, it's literally about learning new things and expanding past your comfort zones and um, taking the time to check in with new members, taking the time to check in with alumni um, and learning about the council that you're actually joining so that you can integrate properly into uh, that space. John? Well, so similar to what Jordan said, um, I can speak, you know, for, for my chapter, but of course, you know, a lot of time spent around um, my pledge brothers, uh, a lot of time spent playing sports together, um, and, and really a lot of time learning, um, a lot of time getting study hours, making sure that we keep the Greek GPA up and, and all kinds of things. Um, but, you know, really the best thing is just getting a lot of time to spend with your brothers and, and getting to really form strong bonds that, you know, will last forever, really. Justin? Um, same as those guys. Um, Council-wise, we don't really do much in terms of new member education. It's mostly chapter-specific. And um, for me personally, when I got into the chapter, it was um, kind of like getting thrown into the fire. They said, you're here, now work. And so that was a lot of the education, like learning firsthand because we are a smaller chapter. It's kind of like everybody has a job to do. So that was very interesting when I first got into the organization. In Georgia. So um, for CPA, I would say that you, most chapters will have new member meetings once a week where they get the new member class together and you will have an upperclassman teach you about the sorority, um, history, traditions on Clemson's campus. Um, and it's a great way to go ahead and learn about your chapter and learn the commitments that you're gonna make as a sorority woman um, and the standard that we're all held to to learn about values, and then in addition to that, you get to meet a lot of upperclassmen in your um, chapter by going on weekly dinner dates, lunch dates, um, and you can go do different events with different girls in your chapter. And it's just a great way to go ahead and build that mentorship program that we would recognize as big and little. The second question is, how do you help build connections between the new members as well as the new members and active members? And John, we're gonna start with you. Uh, for a lot of IFC chapters, uh, a big part of that is like having a lot of big competitions. So for instance, at our house, we have basketball goals and we have a big backyard. So we like to play baseball or kickball or, you know, all kinds of things where really you get to kind of see each pledge class playing against each pledge class and then eventually we'll all intermingle. But um, it's, it's a great way, in addition to our social events, um, to really just have a good brotherhood experience. Um, we do a lot of things like bowling or going to play paintball and stuff like that. So Really, any any sort of fun outdoor activity you can think of, we're, we're really up for it. And uh, I think it's a, one of the most positive aspects of joining a fraternity. Justin? Um, with us, our chapter specifically, our profites or older members were there throughout the entire process. So that was their way of getting to know us and like helping us along through the journey of becoming members of the organization. So when we got in, it was like already a family pretty much and we all knew each other and they knew our interests and stuff like that. So it was kind of like just stepping into it a little more as officially being a member of the organization. Georgia? So for CPA, um, we really build connections between the new members with sisterhood events and new member events that they can go to. 
as well as going to events with upperclassmen um, to build those relationships. And as I mentioned earlier, the Big and Little Mentorship Program that every chapter has is a great opportunity to go ahead and build those connections with upperclassmen. And our last question for new member experience is, what was the most memorable part of your new member experience? And Justin, we'll start with you. The most memorable part for me was finally being initiated as a member of the organization. Um, that night was very special. It's just like everything that you've learned and all that you've been through just kind of getting there is finally coming to fruition and there's like an intangible result. And so that was the most memorable part to me. Georgia? As a new member, I would say my most memorable experience was just those first couple weeks after bid day and walking around campus and seeing girls wearing your sorority letters and instantly feeling like you have a connection and you know someone on campus um, and can share that bond and knowing that you're a part of something way greater than yourself here at Clemson. Jordan? For my experience, um, definitely getting to travel um, with our fraternity. We, we travel a whole lot and travel to other chapters in surrounding states and meeting brothers that you have no clue who they are. Um, don't even know their name yet, but as soon as just there's a camaraderie, as soon as you step into the room and knowing that they've got your back and there's just love in the air for each other. It's a really nice family experience that transcends um, as one of the most memorable parts that continues on through the entire time that you're uh, involved with your fraternity. John. Uh, probably uh, would be bid day because Rush is done in a way that you don't really know where a lot of the kids who you've kind of met through Rush are going to end up. Uh, Rush is such a wonderful part of joining a fraternity that when it really all comes to fruition and, and you, uh, you really meet all the guys that you're with. It's just, there's nothing really like it. And it's just kind of the start of such a great adventure. Uh, definitely the most memorable part for me. Over the next couple of years, we are excited to welcome new organizations to our campus. Um, a few that are returning and, and one that is a new group. Um, the first group is Sigma, Sigma Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated, a historically Latina sorority with a multicultural membership they already have an active interest group at Clemson and have joined our multicultural group council. They're in the process of becoming full members. The Interfraternity Council welcomed the return of Sigma Alpha Epsilon during the spring of 2020. Um, the, that associate chapter will continue their expansion process through the IFC recruitment process this fall. Um, and then finally, Delta Gamma will reestablish their chapter in the fall of 2021 and be a part of our college Panhellenic Association. As we wrap up our presentation, we, wanted, we would like the students to provide advice to our interested students as they continue joining our community. So what is one thing you gain from your experience or one thing you wish you would have known prior to joining? So we'll start with Georgia. I would say one thing I wish I knew before joining was you get what you put in. Um, you know, I think something really great about Clemson and one of the things we touched on earlier was a lot of our members are involved in a lot of very different things across campus. And so you kind of have the opportunity to choose how involved you want to be in your sorority and your fraternity here at Clemson. So I would say um, get to Clemson, go through the process, and then figure out, um, you know, how much you're willing to commit. And I promise you'll get that right back out of it. Great. Thanks, Georgia. What about uh, Jordan? Uh, following that same thread, it's literally learning. I really wish I, they had told me that the real pledging starts after you cross. It's how much you put in and what you get out of it. Um, taking the opportunity to use your position to make change, advocate for initiatives that you want to focus on and putting in that work um, in the classroom as well as in the community, it's extremely rewarding. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's mostly and always, always um, well worth it. Thanks, John. Um, 
Definitely, um, because I don't, you know, representing 23 chapters, I don't want to just speak for mine. So just from the Greek experience as a whole, I wish I'd known that you're going to make so many friends during the rush process. Um, so really appreciate that. Um, but in addition to that, just, I would say that the, the biggest thing I've gained is, is just such a kind of along those lines, it's such a great network of people who not only like, can I count on for this and that, but that I look up to and that I really try to be more like, and I try to grow and, and, you know, learn from them. Um, so just such a great network of people. And then Justin. Um, the biggest thing that I gained was the brotherhood that I've gotten from my brothers in the chapter as well as locally um, and nationally. Honestly, I've met brothers from everywhere and that's just been really cool to get to know people like Jordan said earlier. You might not know each other, but when you step in the room together, you definitely have that bond that you feel like connected to this other person that you might have never met before. And then one thing that I wish I would have known or that they would have told me is how much of a financial uh, in burden it is, I guess you could say. Um, when you're doing this, don't just look at the base for what you're doing for your organization, but look at the Clemson fees and the reoccurring things that come up every semester or every year that you don't necessarily think about initially. So that's one thing I wish I would have looked into more. Thank you. So Fraternity and Sorority Life will be hosting additional information sessions for parents and students throughout July so you can learn more about each specific governing council. If you're unable to join us live, we will post the link to the recording to the virtual FSL orientation section of the FSL website so you can watch it at your convenience. As we close our session, we want to thank you for viewing the Fraternity and Sorority Life Overview. If you have specific questions, please reach out to us via phone at 864-656-7578, email us at greek at clemson.edu, or through social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are so excited that you are going to be members of this Clemson family, and we hope that you consider being a part of the fraternity and sorority community. Go Tigers! <laughs>